Hello everyone, welcome back. Starting off this next tier of fights, we're going to be opening up with Tifereth. And we're just going to be going one, two, three, because that's actually the logical order of, um, for me at least. Uh, both of these fights here aren't actually anything all that crazy. Um, just adds is a little tricky, but nothing like Greta or Bremen, honestly. So. Um, let's go ahead and see what we're up against first, though. We must check our decks. Tifereth, I'm rocking Olivier. Nikolai. Eugen. Escher. And Bayard. If you remember correctly, um... Since we finished up this uh, tier of fights, uh, these pages have become available to us once again, so that's why we're using Nikolai and Olivier and all that, so... Uh, basically, this is our next set of fights that we have to uh, deal with. As for Tifereth, though, we're dealing with Oswald. Now, no joke, this actually isn't that hard of a fight, to be honest. Like... Sure, they put out some good damage, and they have a, you know, some really strong mass attack pages, and, and Stupefied is kind of annoying. Um, but outside of that, though, it's a fairly simple fight, all things considered. So let's just get right into it. Ah. <laughs> え、あれ、ね、3点体気は古ベルの銀で単感と古ぼ。그렇게생각하지않나요칼날씨아소란스러운손님이네아니면쇼를함께도와주실광대님지금보니한분이아니네요아들여실까 어디 봅시다. 하나, 둘. 엥? 너무 많다. 아, 잠시만요. 이거 보세요. 이너 씨도 기분 좋은지 마이크를 더 높게 들었어요. 정신 없으니까 하나씩 말해줄래? 그리고 굳이 따지자면 네가 손님 아닐까? 황대는 자신의 공연을 직접 맡을 수 없다고요? <웃음> 예능입니다, 예능. 재밌다고 웃는지. 자, 자. 그러지 말고 광대끼리 손목 향이라도 맡아볼까요? 오늘은 매끈한 향을 두르고 왔답니다. 저, 잠깐! 갑자기 그러면 놀라잖아. 그렇게 무턱대고 들이대는 건 예의가 아니라고. 알겠어? 음, 매정한 사람. 요즘 것들은 너무 꽉 막혀 있어요. 웃음이 말라가는 척척한 시대 작은 일에도 너무 쉽게 화를 내죠 <웃음> 웃음으로 채울 수 없다면 광대는 바람 빠진 풍선이 될 거예요 화를 내는 건 당연한 감정이잖아 당연하지 않아요 뭔가에 기대하는 이들이나 그런 악취 덩어리 사탕을 만드는 거라고요 초콜릿에게, 햄스터에게, 사물에게, 날씨에게, 잡초에게, 타인에게 그리고 자신에게 상대방의 끄러김도 없이 멋대로 기대하며 사탕을 만든 지지 스스로 먹지 않죠 자신이 만든 사탕은 맛이 불단 걸 알고 있으니까요 대신 
캐디 하는 게 많은 만큼 더 많은 악취 덩어리 사탕을 품에 안고 누군가에 의해 쓰셔넣기 퍼플 뿐이에요 그럼 기대하지 않는 삶은 어떻게 살아야 하지? 잡초가 기대해달라고 했나요? 팬님이 기대해도 된다고 했어요? 대체 누가 기대하는 것이 옳다고 한 겁니까? <웃음> 샐러리인 만큼 입꼬리가 아려요 웃겨라 기대하지 않기 때문에 더 눈아픈 것을 볼수 있고 분노하지 않기 때문에 더 매사한 맛을 즐길 수 있는 겁니다 모든 것이 굴러가는 공지라 거기 어디를 가도 좋다고 해주는 거예요 정말 남을 위한다는 기대하는 게 아니라 옆에서 웃어줄 수는 없는 겁니까? 이곳에 사는 사람들은 모두 광대 광대는 서로의 웃음을 먹지 못하면 살 수가 없답니다 네가 무슨 말을 하는지는 알겠어 그래, 기대한다는 게 무조건적으로 상대에게 좋은 것도 아니니까 네 모든 의견에 동의할 수는 없지만 완전히 부정할 수 없는 것도 사실이야 <웃음> 전 그저 웃음이 넘치는 세상을 만들고 싶을 뿐입니다 걱정 없이 웃는 세상 찡그린 표정은 너무 무섭기만 하다고요 하지만 기대한다는 건그 사람을 믿는 거야 넌 고작 기대에 부응하지 못하는 걸 두려워하며 도망칠 뿐이잖아 <웃음> 글쎄요 행복을 바라는 것이 죄랍니까? 모두가 웃는 세상을 바라는 게 나쁜 건가요? 음. 뭐, 서로가 공연에서 보여주고 싶은 웃음은 다른 법이지요 그쪽도 자신이 원하는 웃음의 형태를 바라고 공연을 할 뿐이잖아요 다른 광대를 웃기기 위해 공연을 펼쳐봅시다 인사는 이쯤 하고 슬슬 혀 위에서 놀아볼까요? <웃음> 그래 네 말을 빌리면 서로 자신이 서 있는 무대를 지켜야 하는 거겠지 God, Oswald is such a freaking weirdo But, you know, he's kind of that interesting other end of the spectrum where he doesn't care about anything. For him, life is just a game, and that's all it will ever be. And it's just kind of interesting to think about because he's not just crazy. Like, he understands, like, he has a basic understanding of what he's doing and what it means, but it's just so out there that it seems crazy at first. I mean, he's still crazy, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that Oswald isn't crazy. I'm just saying that he's not, like, a downright maniac with no, like, um, concept of, like, you know, consequences and actions and all that. I'm just saying what he is is very different to your typical style of villain and their motivation. So, basically, uh, you want to focus down, um, it's going to seal the speed dice, damn. Uh, is there any way I can get around that? I could use that, that'll definitely win, I'm pretty sure. It's a risk, but... Sealing a speed dice is really bad. Fine. Let's do it. If I lose the evade, then, well, that's on me. You want to aim for uh, the mermaid first. Uh, didn't say that, but you should. Mermaid is first priority in this fight, as it does a lot of stagger damage. And you want to attack Oswald last because he's all, you know, endured like most of the other fights. Come on. 
mother of. Well, lost my speed dice anyway. Oh well. Hopefully the mark is yes. Okay, mark applied to Mr. Miss Mermaid, and now they're all focusing. God dang it! I, I freaking knew it was gonna happen too. Uh, it's frustrating. Uh, yeah, let's. Uh, can't counter that. Never mind. Thought I could. I cannot. Let's counter that instead. Nothing else I can do. You're going to take. This? Yeah, by the way, the more like the more you win against Oswald, the more bonuses you get. So I'm gonna try to win the pierce dice is what's being boosted for you. Okay, I don't want to use that just yet. Okay, I actually do want him to stupefy her, so... Or, no, I don't, actually. No, I want him to stupefy Eugen. Damn it. That's not good. Okay. Well. Here's what we're gonna do. Um, do this. And then... Uh, this. Stupefy basically makes uh, them attack randomly. And um, we pretty much want to have her do that because she has um, Boundary of Death. And the, the when it, well, at least when it's in her hands, the computer will prioritize it because it's a high cost card. But it's only going to hurt one out of four times. So, yeah, it's a 25% chance to hurt a lot. But, you know, the odds do say that I should be fine. So, you know. Let's see if it actually works out like that. <laughs> this hurts. Yep. That's why you want to get the mermaid down. At least they're endured. Also playing fervor to motions because I want to get um, get her light down as fast as humanly possible. There we go. Clown time. Damn it. I tried. I said prioritizes boundary of death so it's only gonna hurt one out of four times and if it does then well it's gonna really hurt <laughs> but it's better than spamming out something more powerful that's for sure I mean that's not gonna not gonna win a clash against that so whatever Just clash there as for you, let's do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to Trigram for now. Save that for a sec. And you, this should win here, hopefully, maybe. I will hope that it wins. Otherwise, it's gonna hurt a lot. <laughs> Still working on getting that stagger against um, our friend the mermaid. I have blunt power this turn, so that doesn't do anything for me, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, I go ahead and take that as well. That's fine. All right, I'm right with this. Let's do it. I swear to God, if I get boundary of death by her when I haven't gotten it the entire game. Come on, Stagger, please. Come on, what is with the two fives? That card is rolled low for me every time. 
don't understand it. Come on. Stop stealing my speed dice, you frickin' jerk. Alright, cool. Could also go for Tifzodia too, but I uh, just don't have the right setup for it, otherwise I wouldn't. Well, I want to block that. That's a lot of damage. And as for you, Steel Knuckles. I have no super high cards that can beat that, really, which is really annoying. Oh, that's not going to do anything. <laughs> I mean, I only have one stagger. It's not going to exactly you know, be a big spend, but, uh, you know. How many options there? Freaking completely hidden by the other person there. Let's just block that. It's gonna destroy the other dice, but I can't do anything about it. Let's see if that can win something, and then let's focus on Mr. Knife. Gotta hold that for a sec. Two brace ups will draw me a lot of cards. Okay. Damn. They always clash. Jeez, always. They, they've been rolling really good this time, man. Okay, blade unlocked. Thank god. Damn. Alright. Oh my goodness. The rolls have been insane so far this fight, man. I haven't gotten, like, anything. Ah, this frickin' the mermaid didn't die because of frickin' he got staggered. No, oh, that's good. All right. I actually think I have to do this here. I mean, there's no other way around it, pretty much. Still want Eugen to be... There we go. Let's not play any more cards with her. Because, yeah, she's going to get taken in it over anyway. Yikes. It's bad. Here we go. Okay. These, I'm just going to have to let these hit. Nothing else I can do about them. Uh, I can pull this one away, though. Might save our friend here from dying, possibly. But hopefully the Massimation can take her out. Here's hoping. 27. Yep, it did. Awesome. Perfect. Good. Okay, there's the other stagger I wanted. Nikolai is now going ham. Get out of my face. Ow. So even when you get the worst rolls in the universe, we're still doing kind of alright here, honestly. Fine. Uh, this is gonna hurt though. Alright, well, let's go ahead and take that. And then take this one as well. Why not? Meanwhile, the rest of you is. Let's go ahead and just start playing some stuff. You finally play our fourth tetragram. Now we can do this. Next turn, we're set up for a um, a good Impugnatio Ultima, which is good. Nice. And then you 
Let's just do damage. I mean, why not? Nothing else is going on. <laughs> I promise I can't. This is not even a good play because I don't have any stagger resist to, to spend. So, I guess we're doing it like this. endured to damage, but we're just hitting him with a lot of stuff. <laughs> Come on, man. Alright, well, now Eugen's under his control again. And, yep, just blocking, so doesn't do anything for her, to us. Exactly why I built her deck that way. Man, this one's really annoying, I gotta say. It's really frustrating. You're gonna get staggered no matter what, pretty much, so honestly, just frickin' do some damage as you, whatever you can, but not expecting much. Maybe we can do a bulky impact here. And let's get some charge going, like that. Let's keep a little bit of our dice in hand. Yep, do you want to do that? And then let's, uh, Impugnatio Ultima. Perfect. You can, uh, just continue to hit this, and, uh, let's steal Knuckles, and then let's do an unlock. But we'll have this one clash. Seems to be the highest. Alrighty. I like this. Yep. Pretty good. Yep, there's the stagger I was looking for. That's fine, actually. And we have the 50% extra damage on him, so that's good, too. Now, how I said Nikolai was basically a requirement for the end game. Yeah, you're seeing it now. I can't imagine doing any of these fights without frickin' uh, a Nikolai, like, somewhere. Even if it's, like, I only use it once, I still want it, because, good lord. Hmm. Fine with that. Yes, please. Yes, a please. Do that. Boundary of Death again. Lovely. <laughs> it's not hitting us with anything too crazy yet. So let's draw a card. Anything good? No. Alright. So we're going to block this here. We're hitting our friend. And then I'd actually also like to hit him as well with these uh, Pierce. Oh, actually, I want to hit it with you, because you have the boosted pierce dice damage. That's even better. Let's just have you instead draw a bunch. Okay. As for you, this is a really frustrating card that I don't like, so... I'll pull this away onto someone else, probably Nikolai. But you can take this and uh, throw right on this dice here. There we go. As for you, what do I want to do with you? I have a disposal. I can actually beat this for once. I'm doing it. Sick and tired of this freaking guy. And who's the speed dice? The ceiling? That's fine. I don't care. There we go. Okay. Let it rock. Yep. And yep, that's two speed dice for me. 
this fight's over. I think this will just do it. Yep. Disposal. Pretty good. I swear to god. Okay. <laughs> if it ended with Boundary of Deathing my freaking character and killing her, oh my lord. But we got him. <laughs> uh, like I said, not actually that tough of a fight. It was just that I got really bad luck a whole bunch. I also get a Light Restore card here that's fairly solid. But, like, it's just the fact that I rolled so badly and he would cl and he would roll so high and I'd roll so low. That's the only reason that was a kind of weird thing there, but whatever. Uh, just remember with Yujin, you always want her to be the one that gets um, enchanted or whatever the, the debuff is called. And, and uh, mostly, she will spam out uh, she'll spam her highest cost cards, so fur and emotions, yeah, will hurt. But outside of that, just she'll spam this, and it's only gonna work 25% of the time. And with my luck, it'll work never, as you saw. So it's pretty safe. Next time we will be handling Gaburas, and then the time after that we will be handling Chassettes, and then we'll move on to our next set. But I hope so far you're enjoying the ensemble, and uh, we are working our way through them, piece by piece. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!